something else to kind of commiserate on in home theater uh, for a little bit here is price increases. And you know, have have I been affected by any price increases on equipment? And particularly, one one piece of gear I've been talking about a lot lately is is had some new uh, price increases just announced, and so I'll touch on that as well. And I think if I had built the home theater that I built, right, home theater 2.0, and bought most of the same equipment roughly a year prior or so, 12 to 18 months prior than when I did it, I'm pretty sure everything would have been would have been cheaper. So I paid. Uh, 2300 a piece for the Arundel subs. Um, I believe that was after some price adjustment that happened maybe in 2021 sometime. I want to say those subs would have been 1999 and they went to uh, like something like the 2299 price point. And I believe uh, that Arundel is also going to be increasing prices again this spring. I don't it doesn't look like it's happened yet. So that price increase hasn't happened yet, but I I think another one is coming, so I uh, check on that if you're considering some Arundel Sound products. You might want to get your order in soon. Um, I think my Anthem, the Anthem ABM70, I, I'm not sure if that had a price increase. I believe the Parasounds did. So if I would have bought those a year, you know, a year back, I probably would have paid less money for them. And, you know, JVC projectors have gone up in price. The, the, I haven't bought one yet, but the NZs all got raised by about a grand or so. I think at the beginning beginning part of this year, which was an increase from the original MSRP. So whenever the time comes that I might consider one of those, of course, I'll be paying more, let alone the fact that the NZ series is priced way, way higher than the NXs as it was, and they really clamped down on dealer discounting. So yeah, the, the, the effective price increase for a JVC projector just took that, took that through the, kind of through the roof. And I've seen this in the, in the PC area and you know, looking at the graphics cards and and so on, but um, Focal, Focal had price increases that were in effect with the 2022 New Year. I don't know if there was or, or when it might have been if there was a price change um, prior to that and in any 2020 or 2021 range. But um, I think across the board, everything Focal has gone up in price. Uh, I was able to get my thousand series for the home theater, of course, before any additional price increase went down and thankfully was able to realize the same same pricing for the living room speakers that I was able to get for the home theater 2.0 speakers so that was that was nice and one of the reasons I didn't want to sit waiting to potentially upgrade Focal later and and then see that see that price increase in effect but the other one that was just announced uh, this well just announced here was Kaleidoscape is actually increasing the price of the Strato C by a thousand dollars and so there's been some discounting and, and such available for a while so I'm not sure exactly where the pricing fully lands I know there's been a dealer promo I think that was applied to the Strato C and the Terra compact Terra six terabyte that took like a thousand dollars off and I believe that they're still going to honor that so the formal the formal message basically says the Strato C price is increasing to three thousand nine ninety five from April 1st, 2022 to June 30th, it will remain at $29.95 if it's bundled with one of the Terra servers. But as an individual player, the price will increase to $3995 on April 1st. So there you go. So there's still be a still be a bit of a of a discount available if you buy the bundle, but the player alone is going up. So, you know, such is life right now. It's an unfortunate side effect of everything that the world's gone through and continues to go through. Right, but I'm curious. Are, are you are you affected by any price increases? Did you wait? Did you wait too long on a piece of gear, and and end up having to pay more for something than you might have otherwise? Were you able to get in, you know, get in and get something before any of these price increases from you know maybe this new year or last year? It seems like there's poignantly been a, a number of price increases at a lot of a lot of manufacturers here right at the beginning of 2022. You know, will these prices come down? I kind of, kind of think not. I, I don't. These, these genies are out of the bottle, and uh, and this is going to be the new normal. It's nicer when stuff goes down. At least I benefited from this a little bit, so I can say, like, you know, personally speaking, and I sold a lot of equipment going into Home Theater 2.0, and I did pretty well because stuff that I bought four years this ago that was still current model, you know, still relevant or whatnot, has all gone up in price so much that. I, a lot of equipment that I that I had bought 
either kind of stayed the same, meaning I bought it new, but I sold it used for about the same price, or in some cases even higher, because buying the new model or, or buying, you know, buying a new version of the same thing, the prices have just gone up so much that it's made the secondary market prices go up. I mean, look at cars, right, and all that sort of stuff. So an ongoing bummer and pain, right, for those that are considering a home theater project or a larger type of system upgrade. And if, if you'd have done it a few years back, right, you'd, you'd be paying a whole lot less money than it would be costing you to kind of do the same stuff today. So let me know about your, your price experiences um, in the comments. And in terms specifically of the Kaleidoscape price increase, well, you know, it is what it is. They have to do what they need to do for their business. In the broader scope of things, I really, really hope, or it seems to me that, you know, you could get more people into the platform if the price of entry went down. <laughs> because of the circumstances of, of discontinuing the Strat OS and focusing on the C Terra combos and then needing to raise these prices or, or affecting price changes. It is what it is. The, the price the price of entry to get into a, kaleidos a kaleidoscape system is unfortunately climbing. And so that might that might knock a couple people out, you know, that would have been considering uh, buying in. If you're one of those folks, you know, sound off in the comments. Be curious to, to know that as well. Price of everything all around the world is going up, and it's certainly going to affect electronics with you know what, what needs to be done to design and build and make and manufacture and, and ship all this stuff. It's just such as life in our uh, in our new economy. The other thing that that's changing with Kaleidoscape, I guess you could call it a bit of a cost cost related item as well, is they stopped including the remote uh, with the Strato player. So the, the, to quote uh, from one of the dealers, Kaleidoscape's handheld remote control will no longer be provided with Strato C players. It's still available for separate purchase. But as most users use a different method of controlling their systems, Kaleidoscape has decided it will no longer be provided with the player. And when I did my unboxing video, if you go back and, and watch or you watched originally, I never pulled a remote out of the box. And honestly, it didn't even occur to me. I went, I went through the cables, I went through the player, no remote. When I was recording that, and you could watch me, I didn't cut anything out. I, I had I had not a single clue uh, about the missing the missing remote control. And I'm actually surprised too that at least so far, uh, it's only been a, a week or so, give or take, from that video going live to when I'm recording this one. There really hasn't been any comments made like, "Hey, where's the remote? You forgot to talk about the remote." So I didn't miss it. Every, that video has gotten several hundred views to date and nobody else kind of missed it either. And so I guess that's maybe some justification to say, well, if we didn't miss it, do, you know, do we need it? And quite honestly, I don't think I've ever used a remote control for my Kaleidoscape players. The only time I used a K device remote is for a period of time I had an Alto and I was doing the disc to digital, converting some stuff uh, back earlier in the platform and I didn't have the Alto like registered into my system altogether because I was just using it for disk to digital. So I would use the remote for that, but even then I didn't need to. There was, you, you have the app. So, so yeah, I, I never touched the K remotes. And quite honestly, the remote that had been included in a Kaleidoscape system is not on the level with the rest of the platform. It's just kind of been this cheap plastic thing. And so, you know, if, if they wanted to, if they wanted to furnish a remote that matched the quality of the rest of the system, they would have to, to put in design and engineering and construction and all that stuff. And again, I think still for a, a solution like that, for the type of systems that it's largely going into, you know, by and large, people have Control 4 systems, they have Crestron, they have Savant, they have, they're, they're, they're likely using something else. And that, that goes for me. I use a Control 4 Neo remote in my theater. I've got a Control 4 Neo remote. In my living room, if I want to do something very discreetly with the Kaleidoscape, I don't grab the the physical remote. I use my phone. I, they have a really awesome phone app, uh, mobile app, and I will be going over that uh, in like a detailed overview review in a specific video. But yeah, my, my Kaleidoscape remotes have sat in the boxes. So whether they were in there to begin with or not, it hasn't really mattered. You know, hasn't really mattered for me. Does it come off a little cheesy to have a device and not put a remote in? And, and are there situations where maybe that remote could have been a lifesaver, right? Maybe somebody had a had a combined player and they took it somewhere and they weren't internet connected and they didn't have app control. 
you know, I don't know, maybe obviously they consider those kind of use cases or situations to be like few and far between. So in any case, the remote's gone. If you want one separately, you really need it. You can buy it. Yeah, there you go. No more remotes in the Kaleidoscape players. I didn't even miss it. Neither did you.